When you venture from doing general low carb to more carnivore, you start noticing that more foods are incompatible with your daily eating. Hey there, NJRoot22.com with another low carb keto carnivore chat. And today I'm going to further elaborate on the incompatible foods with not just low carb, but more the carnivore based eating or carnivore light based eating. I've noticed that as we've been able to, like, to narrow our foods that are agreeable with our body, that when I do have a little taste or um, eat something that was once considered good, I'm noticing that it's no longer good. And the first thing I'm gonna, uh, I've mentioned this in the past, but peanuts and other nuts. I've noticed now that the, mi the minute I eat them, especially just you know roasted peanuts, that I, they're, God damn, they're addictive. It's salty, it's, they're delicious. I, I love peanuts, but they are inflammatory to our body and I, I just don't feel right for the next day. Same thing with uh, pistachios. I mean, it's, it's, it's a bummer kind of because they're really not that bad. They don't really impact your blood sugar if you eat you know, just a small amount of them. But my body doesn't like them and I don't think uh, really you're supposed to be eating nuts at all. The, about the only benefit, if there is a silver lining, is that I guess it gives you a more robust uh, little poop there. But uh, I don't think it's that little benefit is worth uh, the trouble. And the next thing that's incompatible with uh, our carnivore eating is uh, fruits. Fruits. And, you know, in general, for people that are low carb, they know that there's forbidden fruits and vegetables, the ones that are high sugar, like pineapples, or high in starch, like potatoes and rice. You know, every single time we eat a vegetable, even one, or I'm sorry, a, a fruit, even the good ones in the past, like blueberries and raspberries, I feel what's happening in my body, especially, like, even raspberries are very low glycemic. I feel my sugar, I, the, the fructose or whatever is going in my veins and I don't feel as bad as when I, when I eat, like I try a teaspoon of honey and a cup of tea, I get blah, jittery. I still feel a change in my body when I eat fruit, any fruit, any fruit at all. And it, while, you know, I had th I think three raspberries the other day and I felt it. It wasn't bad, but I bet you if I had six or ten raspberries, I would have probably been similarly jittery as I was with the honey. So I can't do fruit at all. It's not going to happen. Same thing with veggies. In general, like, like veggies are, are really, I, I just can't eat them. Um, grains make you feel funny. Everything seems to be inflammatory for me. And I, at one point I, I liked the, these, those snap peas. Uh, um, I guess they're snap peas. They're not quite, I think they were called sweet peas. They're in the little pod. I got them at the Asian market. I had a couple and like two or three and I felt fine. Then the other day I made some uh, stir fry, not without soy sauce, just uh, uh, fried uh, shaved beef, which was delicious. And I, I threw some those peas in and I had maybe 10 of them, I don't know, and five or 10. And I felt bloated. It, was, it, it caused some sort of gassy sensation in me and I'm, I'm not going to do veggies anymore. There are a small set of veggies that as of this point are still okay and those are fermented vegetables such as pickles. I get these awesome new pickles at uh, the farmers market in Flemington. Um, those are fine. I'll have one or two pickles with my red meat and I don't feel any problem at all. And same thing with that kimchi type stuff. I sometimes, that's expensive though, that kimchi stuff I get at some farmers markets or health food stores that have the little spice, little spicy, and they uh, they don't bother me. They maybe it's the probiotics in them that make them acceptable, uh, but I think they're fine. But in it, as a recap, peanuts or any nuts, not going to do it anymore. I just can't. I don't want to feel bad, and I'm pretty much all fruits and veggies except for my fermented ones so far. But you never know when those are going to be off the list too. We'll see. So if you liked the video, please hit like and subscribe and I'll see you next video.